NASA today released the findings from its year-long study of UFOs and, well... While some may doubt the existence of UFOs and aliens, the evidence from the past century suggests otherwise. Throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, numerous UFO sightings have been captured on camera, from the iconic Phoenix Lights in Arizona to the infamous Roswell incident. In today's video, we delve into 20 of the most compelling UFO sightings ever caught on camera, inviting you to join us on a journey through these intriguing moments in history. Number 1. Purple Flying Thing The Purple Flying Thing became a subject of immense curiosity in February 2015 when the crew of a Peruvian talk show, while filming, What are they and who's flying them? noticed an unusual object in the sky. Unlike anything they had seen before, this object wasn't a kite or a balloon, but something more mysterious, hovering in the air. Captured on camera, the footage quickly led to public intrigue upon its release on the internet. Characterized by its unique saucer shape and striking purple hue, the object floated effortlessly, defying conventional explanations. It remained visible for several minutes, displaying a captivating spectacle against the backdrop of the clear sky before vanishing from sight, leaving onlookers in awe and speculation. UFO enthusiasts and experts were quick to dive into discussions, with many suggesting the possibility of an extraterrestrial spacecraft. The vivid color and distinct shape of the object set it apart from typical UFO sightings, adding a layer of mystery to the already puzzling phenomenon of unidentified flying objects. Number 2. The Rendlesham Forest UFO Incident The Rendlesham Forest UFO Incident of December 1980 stands as one of the most compelling UFO events in the history of the United Kingdom, taking place just outside RAF Woodbridge, which was being used by the United States Air Force at the time, this incident involved multiple sightings of unexplained lights and an unidentified object landing in Rendlesham Forest, Suffolk. The sequence of events began in the early hours when military personnel observed strange lights descending into the forest. An investigation team was dispatched, expecting to find a downed aircraft. Instead, they encountered a glowing metallic object with a pulsating array of colored lights. As they approached, the UFO moved through the trees and disappeared, leaving the witnesses in disbelief. The next day, servicemen returned to the site and discovered physical evidence, including impressions in the ground, burn marks, and broken branches. The deputy base commander, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Halt, led another team into the forest and not only confirmed the previous night's findings, but also witnessed a similar unexplained light himself. The Rendlesham Forest incident captivates interest due to credible military witnesses and physical evidence, posing intriguing questions for UFO researchers globally. Number 3. The 1967 Shag Harbor UFO Incident The 1967 Shag Harbor UFO incident remains one of Canada's most intriguing and well-documented UFO sightings. On the night of October 4th, Residents of the small fishing village of Shag Harbor in Nova Scotia were startled by an unexpected sight. A mysterious object crashed into the waters of Shag Harbor. Witnesses reported hearing a whistling sound followed by a whoosh. I noticed a couple lights in the sky. And then a loud bang, sparking immediate concern and curiosity. Multiple witnesses reported seeing a low-flying, illuminated object head towards the harbor leading to speculation about its origin and purpose. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police, along with local fishermen and the Canadian Coast Guard, launched a thorough search operation, expecting to find wreckage or survivors from what was initially thought to be an aircraft accident. However, the search yielded no physical evidence, no survivors, nor any wreckage, deepening the mystery of what had actually plunged into the waters that night. The absence of concrete evidence and the official classification of the incident as a UFO sighting have fueled ongoing debates and theories among UFO enthusiasts and researchers. Hmm. If not a UFO, what explanation could there be for such an unusual crash? Leave a comment down below to let us know which side you're on. Number 4. Mysterious Aerial Encounter in Henderson, Nevada 
In the early hours of a November 2021 morning in Henderson, Nevada, an event unfolded that would intrigue UFO enthusiasts and experts alike. Jason Sarasi, a local resident and avid stargazer, witnessed and recorded an unusual aerial encounter involving two distinct groups of lights in the sky. One appeared to be a conventional jetliner, identifiable by its characteristic lighting and contrail, while the other was a puzzling T-shaped formation of lights, behavior, and origin unknown. This sighting added to a pattern of similar incidents, including a 2021 report from an American Airlines pilot over New Mexico who claimed to have seen a UFO cross his flight path. These encounters, often involving military jets or advanced technology, remain a source of speculation among ufologists. The phenomenon witnessed by Sarasi didn't exhibit typical UFO behaviors like advanced speed or sudden maneuvers, yet its unconventional light pattern and lack of identifiable features puzzled experts, aviation experts. Tim McMillan considered the possibility of a satellite, specifically SpaceX's Starlink constellation, but the formation did not match the linear pattern of these satellites. The proximity of the sighting to Area 51, the hub for secret aircraft testing, was also noted, yet the object didn't conform to known aircraft or drone characteristics. The theory that the T-shaped object might be the International Space Stadion reflecting sunlight was explored. However, tracking data later confirmed that the space station was not over Nevada at the time. Left with no definitive explanation, experts and the original observer could only conclude that the incident involved a genuine, unidentified flying object. With such a close distance from Aria 51, what do you think this aerial encounter could be? Number 5. The 1966 Westall UFO Incident in April 1966, an unusual event took place at Westall High School in Melbourne, Australia, that remains a significant point of discussion in UFO research. Around lunchtime, students and staff from Westall High School and Westall State School were outside when hundreds witnessed mysterious objects in the ski. Described by some as grey and saucer shaped these objects captured the attention of the school and the surrounding community. One of the witnesses, Phil Tierney, recalled seeing three silver disc-shaped objects with a dome on top, none of which made a sound. The incident also involved seven pilots flying overhead who also reported the sighting, with at least one pilot allegedly attempting to pursue the object. Shane Ryan, a researcher, has spent over a decade investigating the Westall incident, speaking to more than 400 people who claimed to have seen the objects or experienced visits from authorities post-event. Ryan's discovery of the pilot's involvement adds another layer to the mystery, suggesting a potentially broader witness base than previously thought. The incident has been shrouded in secrecy, with students reportedly discouraged from discussing the event with media and the presence of military and police on the scene shortly after the sighting reported by witnesses. The lack of official documentation and acknowledgement by government agencies only fuels speculation of a cover-up. Phil Tierney's account, we weren't allowed to talk to the media, and the swift arrival of authorities as described by Ryan, Highlight the atmosphere of fear and control surrounding the incident. Number 6. UFO Sighting in Antarctic In October 2020, a sharp-eyed investigator scanning satellite images of Antarctica stumbled upon an intriguing sight as it melted. Others pop object, witnessed by pilots, airline personnel, and mechanics, remained stationary in the sky for approximately five minutes before it abruptly ascended leaving a clear blue hole in the cloud layer above. This incident is particularly remarkable due to its occurrence at a highly secure and trafficked airport, challenging the common notion that UFO sightings are confined to remote or less observed areas. The sighting prompted discussions and investigations, yet the object was not detected by radar, and both United Airlines and the Federal Aviation Administration initially dismissed the event attributing it to a weather phenomenon. The 2006 O'Hare UFO sighting remains a compelling example of an unexplained aerial phenomenon that defies conventional explanations. Despite skepticism from official sources, 
The clarity of the eyewitness accounts and the location of the sighting continue to intrigue both the public and UFO researchers, highlighting the persistent mystery surrounding unidentified flying objects in our skies. Number 8. Blue Alien Orb Crashes on Earth In Gainesville, Florida, an unusual event caught on Chad Zetchauer's dash cam while driving on Newberry Road led to widespread speculation and interest. A blue orb was observed shooting across the sky, followed by a flash or explosion. This incident, which left no trace of debris or an impact crater, raised questions about its origin, with many considering the possibility of a UFO. One scientific theory proposed that the phenomenon could simply be a meteor. However, the incident also reignited discussions about space rocks potentially being extraterrestrial probes. The sighting of Oumuamua in 2017, an object from outside our solar system with a peculiar trajectory and shape, has fueled theories about alien technology possibly visiting our solar system. Experts examining the Gainesville event considered various explanations, from re-entering space debris to natural celestial events. Jonathan Hill, a Mars mission planner, suggested that the blue color of the orb indicated it was likely composed of magnesium, a material not typically used in man-made objects. This detail, combined with the object's high velocity and unique coloration, left room for speculation about its extraterrestrial origin. Despite the intriguing analysis, the absence of physical evidence or an impact site means the true nature of the blue orb remains unresolved resulting in both conventional and extraordinary interpretations. Number 9. 2021 UFO Sighting Released by the Pentagon The 2021 UFO Sighting released by the Pentagon marked a pivotal moment in the public's understanding of unidentified aerial phenomena. In a groundbreaking move, the Pentagon officially released footage capturing a spherical metallic object moving at high speeds across the sky, recorded by a Navy pilot's cell phone during a flight off the East Coast. This object, exhibiting no visible means of propulsion and flying at astonishing speeds, defied conventional aircraft characteristics. This release was part of a broader initiative to shed light on numerous unidentified aerial phenomenon, sightings that have puzzled military personnel for years. The footage sparked widespread intrigue and debate leading to a formal public hearing on unidentified aerial phenomenon for the first time in half a century. Lawmakers and the Pentagon disclosed the cataloging of over 400 unidentified aerial phenomenon. Reports highlighting the seriousness with which these sightings are now being taken. These sightings remain unexplained, but officials say... This sighting, characterized by its clear footage and the credibility of the source, continues to fuel discussions and investigations into the nature of unidentified aerial phenomenons and their implications for national security and our understanding of the world. Number 10. Eyewitness Summoned Mysterious Aircrafts at Night On July 5, 2020, in Big Bear, California, experienced UFO spotter Eddie Garcia, along with a group of friends, witnessed an intriguing spectacle under the starlit sky, far from civilization. Intent on introducing his friends to extraterrestrial craft, Garcia, an active participant in the close encounters of the Fifth Kind movement, believed he could mentally summon UFOs. Astonishingly, as he focused his thoughts outward, unidentified objects responded, aligning with his intentions. The group observed mysterious orbs navigating the night sky. Their presence confirmed when a laser pointer, operated by Garcia, illuminated one of the objects, causing it to execute a sharp maneuver. This interaction between the laser and the UFO added a tangible dimension to the encounter, suggesting a responsive or intelligent control behind the mysterious aircraft, CE-5. Enthusiasts, like Garcia, subscribe to the notion that peaceful human-initiated contact with extraterrestrial intelligence is possible. Really intense downdraft forms within the thunderstorm. Through focused meditation and mental outreach, this practice, inspired by global events such as the Harmonic Convergence of 1987, posits that 
collective human consciousness can bridge the vast expanse between our world and others, inviting peaceful exchanges with alien beings. Forensic analysis of the recorded encounter revealed no tampering, suggesting the authenticity of the footage. However, experts remain divided on the nature of the observed phenomena. While some discount the possibility of drones or conventional aircraft due to the absence of typical navigational lights and sounds, others speculate the illuminated object could be as mundane as a bat, albeit an unlikely explanation given the context and behavior of the lights. Number 11. UFO Sighting Through World War II Planes During World War II, pilots from the 415th Night Fighter Squadron encountered unexplained aerial phenomena, later dubbed Foo Fighters. These incidents, primarily occurring over Nazi-occupied Europe, involved glowing, cigar-shaped objects that displayed extraordinary flight capabilities, such as abrupt direction changes and the ability to turn on a dime defying the most advanced rocket technology of the era. The first recorded sighting by the squadron happened in late November 1944. Lines with indentations that lead to what appears to be a half-buried disc. When a crew spotted a series of fiery orange lights in the Rhine Valley. Attempts to engage or identify these objects through Allied ground radar were futile, as the radar detected nothing. The objects seemed to possess the ability to disappear suddenly and reappear behaving in ways that suggested intelligent control rather than natural phenomena or known human technology. Subsequent sightings by different crews described similar experiences with objects tailing aircraft at close distances or performing evasive maneuvers that seemed to defy the known laws of physics at the time. Descriptions often included features like absence of wings, glowing red coloration, and the ability to maintain pace with or outmaneuver the fighter planes. The term Foo Fighters was coined by the airmen, inspired by a popular comic strip of the time. These sightings were initially met with skepticism attributed to combat stress or misidentified conventional objects like weather balloons or flares. However, the detailed accounts from credible military personnel and the inability to provide a conventional explanation have made these encounters a significant point of interest in the study of UFOs. The phenomena ceased with the end of the war. Has the footage been manipulated in any way? The leading to speculation about their origin, including theories suggesting they were related to Nazi Germany's advanced rocketry programs. However, none of the wartime technology could fully account for the reported behaviors of the Foo Fighters leaving these encounters among the enduring mysteries of World War II aviation. Number 12. Cube-Shaped UFO Sighting In February 2020, a remarkable sighting caught the attention of UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike when an Airbus A320 pilot captured footage of an unusual object while flying over Medellin, Colombia. The object, resembling a metallic cube with protrusions, was observed whizzing by the aircraft in a straight line, a sight that was both baffling and intriguing. The cube-shaped UFO, characterized by its distinct geometry and darker hue, stood out against the backdrop of clear skies, prompting questions about its origin and capabilities. Unlike conventional aircraft, this object exhibited no visible means of propulsion, nor did it conform to familiar aerodynamic designs, challenging the norms of aviation technology. This sighting contributes to the growing catalog of unidentified aerial phenomena that defy easy explanation. The clear and tangible nature of the footage captured by a trained pilot lends credibility to the encounter. Turned out to be a rocket launched into space from Cape Canaveral, making it a subject of significant interest within both the aviation and UFO research communities. The cube-shaped UFO sighting near Medellin serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still exist in our skies, urging a continued quest for understanding in the face of the unexplained. Number 13. UFO Sighting by Russian Photographer In 2019, an unexpected discovery was made by Scott Waring, a UFO hunter and alien investigator, while examining a photo taken by German Pereira, a Russian photographer. The photograph initially intended to capture mounted police officers in Santiago, Chile's Parque Forestal, 
accidentally became the center of a UFO investigation due to an unusual creature lurking in the background. This creature, upon closer inspection, appeared neither as a common squirrel nor as a rat, given its distinctive features that defied easy classification. Waring, along with author UFO experts, posited that the strange creature might in fact be of extraterrestrial origin, suggesting the presence of invisible or highly elusive alien beings among us. The photo by Pereira, a seemingly ordinary snapshot of daily life, thus opened a new chapter in the study of unidentified flying objects and beings about the craft's size, its shape and position, highlighting the possibility that extraterrestrial life could be observing us from the shadows, unnoticed and unobtrusive. Number 14, 2020. UFO sighting behind volcano, the 2020 UFO, floating behind. Erupting volcano captured attention worldwide when a video surfaced showing an unidentified flying object hovering near the Popocatepetl volcano in Mexico during one of its eruptions. This intriguing footage, taken in a year marked by global challenges, added an element of mystery to an already eventful year. The video reveals a bright, orb-like object, which appears to defy the harsh, fiery environment of the erupting volcano. Scientists and UFO enthusiasts alike were baffled by the object's ability to remain seemingly unaffected by the extreme heat and ash clouds. Its presence near such a volatile natural event has sparked numerous theories, ranging from advanced drone technology to extraterrestrial spacecraft monitoring volcanic activity. What makes this sighting particularly fascinating is the UFO's clear visibility against the backdrop of volcanic material. Camera. This is hovering there. It's a mystery and you want setting it apart from other, more ambiguous sightings. This instance stands as a compelling example of unexplained phenomena, prompting further investigation into the nature and origin of such objects, especially in proximity to Earth's most powerful natural events. Number 15. UFO Sighting in Ukraine In a startling incident this month, the Ukrainian military captured footage of an unidentified flying object with a drone, raising intrigue and speculation. The UFO, described as disc-shaped and eerily silent, was spotted hovering over the conflict zone in Ukraine, adding a layer of mystery to the already tense atmosphere in the region. The drone, a commercial DJI Mavic 3T equipped with thermal imaging capabilities, was operating at an altitude of over 500 feet when it encountered the UFO at an approximate distance of 30 miles. Despite the advanced technology of the drone, the nature of the flying object remained unexplained, with the footage showing no signs of conventional aircraft characteristics. A spokesperson from DJI, the manufacturer of the drone, commented on the incident, noting an equipment error indicated by a red dot on the screen, which could have influenced the sighting. However, this does not fully account for the appearance of the disc-shaped object captured in the footage. This incident has caught the attention of both the military and the public, with many pondering the possibilities of what this silent, disc-shaped object could be. Amidst the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, this sighting adds an element of the unknown highlighting the continuous presence of unexplained phenomena in our skies. Number 16. Flying Orbs in Chile In November 2014, a Chilean Navy helicopter patrolling near Santiago captured an unusual sight on its forward-looking infrared camera. Two large, overlapping orbs exhibiting coordinated movement, which might suggest a connection between them. The orbs appeared significantly hotter than their surroundings, suggesting an intense heat emission, a detail that stood out in the thermal imagery. Matching the helicopter's speed at 130 knots, these objects also displayed the peculiar ability to release plumes, a phenomenon recorded twice during the observation. This aspect of the sighting, especially the nature of the plumes, whether gas or vapor, remains a topic of curiosity and speculation among experts. The Chilean government, known for its openness in UFO investigations, validated the authenticity of this incident after a comprehensive two-year study, classifying it as an unidentified aerial phenomenon. Notably, the objects did not register on Navy radar, 
and attempts at communication were met with silence, adding layers of mystery to the encounter. Experts puzzled over the orb's nature, considering and dismissing various possibilities such as drones, given the technological limitations of the time, and balloons, which could not account for the observed thermal signatures. The intermittent appearance of the plumes reminiscent of contrails led some to suggest a conventional aircraft. However, the absence of such an aircraft in investigative findings, combined with the object's low altitude and direction towards a populated area, contradicted typical aircraft behavior in distress situations. Despite extensive analysis, the encounter retains its enigmatic status, with key questions about the object's radar invisibility and the non-visibility of plumes in optical settings remaining unresolved. Number 17. UFO Crash Landing Site in the UK On July 13, 2020, landscape gardener Ben Landricombe experienced something extraordinary while on a camping trip in Devon, England. Venturing about 15 minutes into the dense and eerie forest, Ben stumbled upon a scene straight out of a science fiction novel. A large, oval-shaped clearing surrounded by uprooted trees forming what appeared to be a perfect circle. This unusual formation, roughly 60 feet across, suggested something far from ordinary. The absence of professional logging or landscaping signs added to the mystery, as did the juxtaposition of blown-down trees next to ones standing perfectly upright. This led Ben and many who viewed his video to speculate about the possibility of a UFO landing site, especially given the region's proximity to the famous Rendlesham Forest incident, known as Britain's Roswell. Skeptics considered explanations ranging from secret or experimental aircraft crashes to natural phenomena such as meteors or microbursts. However, the recent greenery and lack of debris made these theories less plausible. Dr. Hens's analysis leaned towards a hyperlocal windburst as the most likely explanation, although it couldn't account for the peculiar sensation Ben reported feeling in those woods. Despite the logical explanations offered, the Devon site remains a topic of fascination and debate within the UFO community and among locals. Number 18. Queensland's Residence Spot UFO On February 25, 2021, residents of Queensland, Australia, were taken aback by a startling phenomenon in the sky. Twin bright streaks tracing the same flight path, creating a spectacle unlike any conventional UFO sighting. At first glance, these objects had resemblance to meteors, yet their parallel trajectories and prolonged tails raised questions uncommon to typical meteor behavior. The incident, captured by multiple onlookers, spurred widespread speculation and hundreds of reports. Adding intrigue to the mystery, some theorized a connection to Pine Gap, a top-secret American base situated almost 1,000 miles from the sighting. Known for its surveillance capabilities and rumored to house an underground city where clandestine projects, including UFO-related activities, are said to take place, Pine Gap's proximity to reported UFO sightings has long fueled speculative links between the base and unexplained aerial phenomena. Expert analysis, however, cast doubt on the likelihood of these objects being traditional UFOs or secret weapons from Pine Gap. Astronomer Mark D'Antonio noted the object's relatively slow speed inconsistent with meteors, which typically blaze through the atmosphere at much higher velocities. The notion that these were flaming projectiles from Pine Gap was dismissed. As the orderly alignment of the objects did not match the chaotic dispersal pattern expected from an exploding missile or a plasma beam's precise strike, further investigation revealed these mysterious streaks to be space junk, specifically components of a Chinese Long March rocket, deliberately deorbited into a designated area in the ocean known as the Satellite Graveyard. This region, situated to the right of Australia in the Pacific, serves as the final resting place for defunct satellites and space debris, chosen for its remoteness from populated areas. In light of these findings, the captivating Queensland spectacle, initially thought to be an extraordinary UFO event, was identified as the re-entry of expired space equipment. 
a phenomenon increasingly common due to the growing congestion of Earth's orbit. Number 19. Mysterious Lights Seen in Florida Sky In June 2020, the skies over Miami, Florida became the stage for a bewildering light show that left onlookers puzzled and thrilled. A resident from a downtown high-rise balcony captured a jaw-dropping scene featuring a cluster of lights that appeared to defy conventional explanation. At first glance, these lights seemed to form a triangular shape adorned with six distinct points of illumination, one of which shone brighter than the rest. As the observer provided a play-by-play -play commentary, the lights unexpectedly dispersed, behaving as if they were separate entities rather than parts of a single object. This peculiar behavior led to rampant speculation online, with many quick to label the occurrence as a UFO sighting. The light's formation and sudden acceleration lent an air of mystery, reminiscent of phenomena like the famous Hesdalen lights in Norway, known for their unpredictable movements and silent displays. However, upon closer examination by video analysts, the stunning spectacle began to unravel. Experts noted a lack of reaction time from the cameraman, which is typically expected during such unanticipated events, suggesting a premeditated recording. Further scrutiny revealed inconsistencies with the movement of the lights against the backdrop of clouds, indicative of digital manipulation. The biggest giveaway was the absence of other witnesses in a bustling city like Miami. In today's connected world, a genuine aerial anomaly would likely have multiple recordings from different vantage points. The solitary nature of this footage raised doubts about its authenticity. Video analysts concluded that the phenomenon could be easily replicated using readily available smartphone apps designed to superimpose such effects onto video footage. Number 20. USS Omaha Sighting In July 2019, the USS Omaha, a naval warship, became the focal point of a mysterious and compelling UFO incident that has since intrigued both military personnel and the public alike. While conducting routine exercises off the coast of California, the crew aboard the USS Omaha captured unprecedented footage of an unidentified spherical object hovering near the ship amidst windy and choppy conditions. The object, displaying an eerie luminescence, maintained its position parallel to the vessel, evoking a mixture of astonishment and concern among the crew. For approximately 25 minutes, this unexplained orb shadowed the USS Omaha before it abruptly dove into the ocean, leaving no trace of its presence. This event not only heightened the crew's curiosity, but also sparked widespread speculation regarding the nature of the object and its origins. The incident near the USS Omaha is particularly notable for its classification as a transmedium UFO, a term used to describe objects capable of operating both in the air and underwater, thus broadening the scope of UFO phenomena to include unidentified submerged objects. The sighting near the USS Omaha adds to a growing report of military encounters with unexplained aerial phenomena, prompting serious consideration and investigation by the Pentagon. The unique characteristics of this incident, the object's luminescence, its ability to pace the warship, and its sudden submersion without a trace challenge conventional understanding and provoke questions about the capabilities of these unidentified objects. While skepticism may always remain, this is the clearest evidence of UFOs that history just cannot deny.